Hi, this is Carrie with Learn Da Vinci Resolve, and today I'm answering a question from John, who saw the video on how to create a custom animated title like this, but we did it all within the Resolve side. We used uh, a uh, what do we use? We used a, a color, a custom, a, a color creator. We put in the graphic, the text. We animated everything, and he asked if there was a way of doing it in Fusion because when he does it, the graphic doesn't show up. Well, this is all going to be done in Fusion, so stay right there. We'll be right back, and I'll show you how it's done in Fusion. Okay, so in order to do this all in Fusion, and it's going to be really simple, it might look a little complicated at first, but we're going to go um, kind of as easily as possible so that everyone can follow along. I'm going to start by dropping in a fusion composition. Okay, by doing it this way, we should get a transparent background and it'll sit right on top of the video very nice and everything will work. So I'm going to go and select that and go into fusion. So I've got my fusion composition and it's giving me my media out, which is simply my output. Uh, that's going to be the final rendering uh, as it goes back out to the edit page. So we're going to start with a rectangle. So we'll go to a rectangle and I'll put that up in window one. And I'm going to start by adjusting the height over here in the inspector. And then I can come up and grab the arrows here to position it where I want. So this is going to be the start of our banner. But in the rectangle, if we look at the different properties, there's no color. So how do we add that blue color? Well, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a background. And I'm going to connect these two up. Now I'm going to move that over to number two. And the background is going to default to black. So I'm going to select blue, and that, that's really it for doing the bar itself. That's going to be the easy part. Okay, next I'm going to bring in the graphic. So I have it here in my media pool. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag it down and put it in here. And I'm going to rename this to GPC logo so we don't get confused. I'm going to go ahead and close that so we'll have a little more room to work here. Now, to get the logo to sit on top of this, what do I need? Well, I need to merge them, so I'm going to do a merge node. Now I can drop that graphic on there, and let's put the merge node up on monitor 2, and I can drag this into position here. I want to increase the size, and I've got the merge node still selected. I'm just going to increase the size. So it kind of fills that space and I'll just adjust it so it kind of looks centered there. Excellent. All right, next we're going to need the text node. So a little text plus node here and I'll do kind of the same thing I did before. GPC Ronin S travel case. Okay, and I'm going to put this over in monitor one Okay, I'm not liking that. I want to take my horizontal anchor or my justification there, make it left justified. I'm going to adjust my line spacing so it's all there. And now how do we get the text to join up with this? Well, we're going to add another merge node. Okay, there's our merge node and I'm going to drop the text in place. And let's put the merge node in number two. And then I'll grab my little arrows here and drag my text into position. Well, it's not quite, you know, it's a little too long for that. Maybe I'll just make the text a little smaller. So I'll come over here and I'll adjust the size so it fits into the box a little more proportionally. Adjust the height. All right, so far so good. We have the blue background we have the graphic on it, and we have the text. 
So, so far, so good. We're not, we're not doing too shabby. Now we need to animate it. We need to get the stuff to move. So from our second merge node, uh, shift space, and I'm gonna add a transform tool. I'm gonna move this over here. We can go ahead and connect this to our media out, and I'll put the media out over on uh, the final player. But I want to be on the transform node because this is where we're going to do our animation. Now, let's say I'm going to animate like maybe 20 frames in. So I'm going to go over here to frame 20. And I like where everything is right now. So I'm just going to keyframe that. Then I'm going to come over here to the end, 20 frames in. Select that. And I'm going to keyframe that. Okay, so that's going to give us our static section here. Now we need to make it come in from the outside. So I'm going to go to the beginning and take my center X and just drag it off the screen. Then I'm going to go to the end and I'm going to do the same thing. Drag it off the screen. Now, as soon as you see that start moving, notice that the keyframe diamond has turned red because it's creating another keyframe for you. All right, now we've got it all set up here. And let's watch it. So back to the beginning, we hit play, it slides in, it's on the screen for a while, and then we'll get to our next keyframe over here, and it's gonna start sliding out. There we go, excellent. So let's go down to our edit page. Now notice it wants to render it on my machine. So this is gonna take a moment to render. And do, 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 there it goes. All right, now it should play back very nice. I'll make sure I'm on my timeline node here, or my timeline window. It slides in, we see it and it's going to slide out. Okay, so there we've done it. Let's go back and review in Fusion now. Okay, starting from the beginning, we added a rectangle to give us our shape of the banner itself. Next, we added a background so that we could put color on it. Then we went to a merge node where we merged the GPC logo onto the merge node, which would put it on top of, as long as it's green, so if we hover over that, it tells us that is the foreground. If I shifted those, well, that's not right. It put GPC on the front and the rectangle on, on the back, so, or vice versa. It put it totally backwards. So I'm gonna Command T, make sure I've got my uh, graphic on the foreground, my background on my background. We go to another merge node and we add our text to it. Then we go to our transform and that's, well, we go to the media out. And on our transform is where we end up with being able to move everything. Now you can do a lot more than this. I'm gonna just gonna, uh, let's see, we can adjust the aspect ratio we can adjust the angle. We, 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 we. There we go. <laughs> so there's there's quite a bit of things that we can do. Make it slide in at an angle like this. All kinds of things that we can do in the transform that we probably don't want to do. But just for the sake of a very simple slide in, slide out, we can do it with the transform tool. So John, I really hope that this answered your question and is showing you the right way to do this so that it works for you when uh, you're trying to do it yourself. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe. I know 77% of you do not subscribe to the channel, but watch the videos anyway. So go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get notified every week when we put out new videos. Usually Resolve on Mondays and Fusion or Fairlight on Fridays, sometimes a product review during the week. So there's a lot going on here. So subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.